John here, uh, Tuesday, 14th of uh, June 2016. I'm just going to call Sue Nakora in Gisborne, and I believe uh, Kingi Toto has flown there today um, to have a meeting, and I guess what that's for. Um, I'm just catching up on uh, our history from Ireland and uh, Scotland, England to add to our court cases here in the Auckland District Court for Ngāpui land and also the land in Auckland that you can see I am putting case together to have a Sabina put on John Key, Prime Minister of New Zealand. Very serious matters and I've just seen Winston Peters make an announcement of the tax havens and with the wine box. I was in his party many years ago before 96 um, as a New Zealand First member and a delegate for Epsom area with Gavin Logan. He was the delegate there um, against Christine Fletcher National Party. I was campaigning quite strongly there uh, while at the same time doing real estate in Remera and Epsom areas. Um, so that's where I've picked up a lot of real estate to know what to do with any land issues. And Sunakura um, is um, um, very proficient in Maori land court issues in Gisborne, where the main uh, land court is. And a um, titles put together there and we're going to check it out uh, Desmond my right hand man in Gisborne and uh, my secretary Jamie Anna Marie Patrick Stewart and we're going to sort her land issues out in Tauranga area Hori Ngātai um, also on the East Cape as well so we're going to run through that with Sunakora, just to get our land blocks sorted before we report back to Waitangi, Marae, King's Bench Court, and Kenya Taurua, the chief there, in confidence with Sunakora, the Prime Minister of the Native Government here in New Zealand, ready to take this country back, Mr John Key. You've gone too far, and Obama's gone too far, and the Queen's gone too far, and the elite have gone too far in the Rothschild banks and NATO and um, EU Parliament. Now you can see the Queen is backpedaling back to Britain after leaving Britain and going into the EU Parliament and the Lisbon Treaty with uh, Gordon Brown. And I made comment about Gordon Brown the time he signed in the back room with the Queen to sign away Britain and its sovereignty into the EU Parliament. Now, I've got that all on record for a court case against the Queen and Gordon Brown and everyone concerned in that um, made, which made Ireland leave Britain uh, and now in the EU Parliament. Um, our ancestry is from Ireland, uh, Northern Ireland and the eight-point star of this flag, the Confederation flag of King William IV, that has a lot of bearing on our statement of confidence in this flag. Now, I'm going to ring Sunakura now. I'll try and see if I can get her and Kingy at the same time. Here goes. Hope you can hear it. Hello, Hello Sue. Uh -huh. Yeah, John Wanoa here. John Wanoa. Yeah, okay.
I can always ring back if you've got something on. I can always ring back if you're busy with something. Oh, okay. Um, Paul Hipper told me that Kingy flown down to Gisborne today. Paul Hipper, Epiha up in Napoli, they're, they're having a meeting tomorrow. And he rang me up to say that Kingy had flown down to Gisborne today. Flew to Gisborne, Kingy. I don't know, that's what I wanted to ask you. I thought he was coming to see you. Oh, I Oh, well, I'd better get on the phone afterwards and on his cell phone and ring him up and tell him to get around to see you. Oh. Yeah, that's what he didn't go to the meeting today uh, for tomorrow in uh, Otawa, in, in uh, Napoli, big meeting, and said, no, he's not going to go, he's going to Gisborne, he's flying out. So... Oh, I thought he was going to be with you. I just assumed that he was going to come and see you um, and um, because I got on the phone um, to him and um, uh, before, not today, but um, told him everything's okay. Um, so uh, he's just quite happy to sit by and, and, and let things roll on. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, they are. Yeah, they need a bit of political help because they've. Yeah, they've got no political nous to, uh, to to put A and B together. And who um, uh, wants to go around around all uh, the hapus around the country, but that's that's uh, they have got no budget for that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's right. He's got no idea which way. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so... Okay. Yeah. 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 So, well, they need somebody Maori anyway to. They need someone Māori on the law side to get them going uh, um, politically. Otherwise, it's it's I, I can see their problems, and I didn't want to go and waste time going up to their meetings because they wanted me to go to their meetings and, and guide them. But uh, now I've got no time for that. I only got time for the East Coast now. Yeah, no, I'm 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 making plans to go back. Yeah, yeah. Now, that's I've already made certain I'll be going. Yeah, they need someone like that. I'll, I'll mention it to whoever when he uh, skypes me next time. But he was the one that told me this morning today that uh, Kingy had gone to Gisborne. But I'll I'll give him a call anyway and um, see if he can't whip around to see you, eh? Yeah, he can't be anywhere, but. Um, He's got. A, he, he's. He's just waiting. Uh, uh, um, 
I'm still working with him. He's got confidence in what you're doing there. But Kingy, yeah, so... Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, the, they need a lead, lead um, um, you know, to get them going. Uh, they've, they've got everything going, but they don't know how to make their flag do something for them. No, they've dropped all the all the hype on that. They're going going um, this way now to have meetings for their tomata to try and make that work. They put a rahui around the whole coast up up north, and um, um, then they're trying that approach to, to to bar them from going anywhere on those resources. They're using the old methods, but that's not uh, commercially any sense in making anything out of that. But, you know, uh, uh, yeah, no, that, that's right, because they, they've got confidence in me to, to, to keep them informed or keep them on the path like that. They'll wait for you if I say so, put it that way. They're listening to me anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, they, they will. They yeah. No, she's got a voice uh, that's heard in Parliament anyway. She, she's better than what they haven't got. Is 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 nothing at the moment. No, no political. Oh, Kelvin is still more inclined to follow. Yeah. The best to stick with Winston now because Winston's got a bit of a roll on and um, he, he, he looks like he's after his wine box again. He... Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. I. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's just that, yeah. That's uh, like who the hell are the other Baker fellow there? They got blocks over there. Eh? Baker. That fellow was in the Confederation. Ah. Oh. Okay. Right, right, right. And they had a funeral at, at Desmond and their family. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, no. Nah, the only way to get you around is a plane, nothing else. It's too far. It's too far. No good. Uh, are you? Are you still? Eh? Yeah, that's what I got. I got. No, no. I've, I've got arrangements with my friend in Toronga for a helicopter. Um, huh? Uh, no, he's got he's got friends that that got a helicopter there. Uh, Kevin Ryers, he's my my my, huh? Yeah, he he he's my friend that's going to help with the turbines. Kevin Ryers. He's he, Ryers. He's he's he's, um, he's uh, got the 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 pilot and the, the aircraft there. Yeah, he's been following. He's been following me for a long time, and he knows what you're you're doing. Um, uh, Park here, fella. He's he's an engineer. You know, 
you know, I'm, 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 I've got, I've got, I've got a budget for getting one in a plane. Uh, Yeah, well, um, yeah, so uh, are you coming up to, to Auckland? You, you're coming up this week or not? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, it's too far. The only way you get is around is by plane, not on a car, not not on a road. It's just too far. Yeah. Now I'm, I I got arrangements for things like that. At such time when they're back here. Uh, um. I I I'm always. Yeah. Another. It, it costs quite a bit for to charter a plane, and no, no, that's what I mean—a private plane, private, um, a, a private helicopter. Uh, but uh, we had it ready for the project at the East Cape, so that he can get home to Tauranga and backwards and forwards, and for me to get from Auckland down down there uh, or get around. But that's part of the plan at at Rangitokia. It's the quickest way, but um, uh, it's just uh, um, if because we were going to put it in the budget at Rangitokia from when we get funding from Cook Street. That's the only way with where it was going to fit. Otherwise, it cost uh, cost them money to get the plane to come down and back um, uh, at the moment until we get funding. Um, yeah, he's all ready to, to shift down there to, to Rangitokia and working with me on that land blocks um, with, with Tamati Readers and the, the Haho 7B. Uh, we've got a big um, machinery things going in there. As soon as I get Cook Street sorted, I'm down there with the machines and everything to, to start um, putting things up. But to get around... I've got a fixed wing wing plane to get to get by air is better than a helicopter on a on a, a eight seater plane. Yeah, uh, um, that that's what I've uh, I, I, I've got all those things sort of in the plan. But I wanted to get back get back down there anyway because Desmond's already over there to uh, to get on with it. Yeah, I'm coming there. I'm coming there on the on the twenty seventh. Yeah, and uh, I I'm I'm waiting. Tumu Tumu You want to come to the, the the meetings on Gladstone Road at the Tumu Tumu Trust Office? Come come there because I booked you in. Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's at the Emerald Hotel, the one you want. <laughs> No, I'm staying at Desmond's place, but the the meetings at the Emerald Hotel, the one you want. Yeah, your hotel. <laughs> yeah, but you know, you you if you want it, we'll go get it back. <laughs> yeah, uh, but that's where the meeting is, and uh, uh, we're gonna go to the yeah Tumu Tumu uh for that block in Rotoria. The um, Hitting a hitting a A12 block. Uh, it's a bush covered one, but I wanted to go to the meeting to see how it runs, how how they they steal land. <laughs> um, but uh, oh no, he's there. I was just on the phone to him uh, day before yesterday, and they're just waiting for me to to come back home, and uh, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 
Okay. Yeah, well, they they always um, got hopes, hopes to get something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I thought, oh, I better give you a ring because Kingy will be sitting there talking away, and I'll, 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 I'll give him a ring to see if he's he might have gone. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. 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 No, I'll follow all that. I'll follow. Yeah. No, I'm following all that. Yeah. Yeah, no, I will. I will. Yeah, she, uh, yes, I know what she's like, and she she she'll do it for, for 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 the money part as well. So she'll make make a good job of it when she knows she's got a bit of stick behind her. She's got a bit of yeah. All right, so okay, bye. There you go. That's true, Nakora. Apparently, Kingy didn't go down to see her. So uh, I was guessing that he would have gone there, but I think he's just waiting for me. And they both have strong views uh, with each other uh, on what I do and what they do in their own separate parts. But Kingy being more military, is, it tends to keep the men from the woman um, quite separated from a king's point of view. Uh, so I'm. Uh, I'll just let this person know I'll be on. on. Yeah, I always got people butting in, want to have a talk uh, on important issues. Uh, but I just. Uh, um, I think Kingy might have gone to a meeting in Gisborne some uh, other p part of his usual work and um, I thought he might have gone around C2 while he was there but I think he'll just leave that to me between Sue and me and money a portal uh, to Georgie down there Georgie job um, we're holding this lot together uh, to get some documents ready, but now I know that Sue won't be coming up this week. Uh, rather, um, just leave it at that. I've got enough to do with Jamie and Desmond uh, uh, on our own court case and also our history. We put our history right um, to Ireland, Northern Ireland, and to Scotland. Um, it's good in a way that Gordon Brown is supporting the exit of Britain from the EU Parliament. That's all I care. Um, and and um, Nicola Sturgeon wants to go into the EU Parliament and not leave. So they'll have to sort their differences out. But to go back into Britain, that's our call from here with this flag. Uh, that's the commercial flag of the world, this one, to hold fast to what we have in Westminster. Um, as you can see, there's more Muslims uh, flooding into London on the streets and it looks a big mess from this angle. And uh, also um, America being owned by the Queen, um, indirectly owned by the King, William the Fourth, and his male line DNA. As you can see, I put some information there of King Solomon and the um, Freemasons. That's that side of the Norman 
uh, Vikings and my friend Kevin Rice or Reyes down Torrum. He's a, he's a uh, Vikings man, Danish, doing the brain work for the tidal turbines. Now that was the Normans uh, conquerors um, that had the brain to put all the titles together and that's what's followed through right through till now. That part of uh, England is made up of Celts or people from all different DNAs of countries. Ireland, Scotland, England, Wales and from up the other way north Sweden uh, uh, and Germany. Germany is sexy, Saxon Saxy, Gotha, um, Anglo-Saxon, and then the Normans on the other side. Um, so now I, I can see how that fits into Westminster and who has the ultimate power of inheritance over that in, our, in, in Westminster, that rule of law and this flag on the commercial side of that year, 1837 period, of reform of laws of King William IV. Now, from king to king to king on the DNA kit set uh, is what's happening there now to identify who is Irish, Black Irish, England. Okay, I'll just put some things on Facebook about that to find which part of Ireland in the League of Nations uh, part to the native here under the Moai Hapu, not the Maori, the Moai Hapu native. Title holders here in New Zealand, just to make this statement quite clear to John Key, Austrian, English, is just another Celt here in this country besides Scott Celts and English Celts, Celts and German Celts, they're all fractionated uh, tribes of one or the other European or British connections living and administering law. These combined laws, agreements between the Normans and the Sex, Sexy Gothers or Anglo-Saxons on the invasion of England and the Wales being the original owners with England were run over by the marauding Normans they just bashed their way through so they were the hard yakka ones that went into Ireland so I Ireland the black uh, black um, Black uh, Irish is the black hair and dark brown eyes, black eyes, dark brown eyes identifies them close closer to us as being a native. It says that they're from Spain, Portugal. Well, I'll just leave that side. I'm only going <coughs> to the ruling authority of this flag. Of King William in Westminster from his uh, German uh, German Hanover uh, side of DNA British DNA um, uh, connections on that piece of land in England okay so that's really what our legal status is here in New Zealand of the Celts living here practicing Freemasonry on our lands. It's still going to come down to whose authority are they using. French is part of that Norman or French on the English part of the Anglo-Saxons in the conquering of England to set their business up to come this way.
Okay? So, at this stage, everyone living in New Zealand will be DNA tested under this Maui crown, King William the Fourth, Waitangi Marae King's Bench Court, as far as I'm concerned, is the sheriff or the captain of his ship of Admiralty on that land, on Kingi Taurua's land. So when I look at Kingi, it's his land and his chief's land, that piece cut out around the Marais. All right? You take all the other land outside that boundary area of where the ship sits next to the Waitangi Marae, the Marae is the courthouse. The ship is the Admiralty ship from Plymouth and Devon Port on King William's estate land in England to that piece of land. From that piece of land in England to that piece of land. That's all I'm going on. The title, not everybody else who's living here, just that title and all the French people in the South Island and uh, um, Scottish in the Kaipara and uh, Irish around, listen up. All your titles come under this flag, period. They all come under one authority, and that's that. You have to come up with your title, like what I'm doing with John Key. I'm taking him into court, subpoena him to court. So don't be surprised if a sheriff in our organisation, the authority, comes around to visit you to put you into court. Right? The court judge is only there to administer the court, not the judge's court, the court of the King's Bench Court. Because the Queen's in there, she's got trouble now. She's got trouble because it's getting exposed in England who ISIS is and who Obama is playing her game and her business in America, making a mess of it with uh, Muslims that are trying to make the black side take over America when it's always been ruled by white man making all the laws of King George III and King William IV went to New York he set up over there that commercial business on Wall Street that's under his authority this way okay and our Moai statue stands right there with King William IV as the title. And in Washington, D.C., the Moai statue stands over there too. That's our native title with King William, wherever he goes. He's in England, and he's in Paris, uh, uh, France, Belgium, at the uh, EU, EU Parliament in Belgium. The Moai statue is the title there. That's what I'm saying. The memorial stone is a man's head of God. And that's the end of that. So, um, at this stage, uh, I'm waiting to go to see my barrister to force John Key into the Auckland District Court. I was hoping that Sue would come up and sign all the documents with um, Charles Hirschfeld, our other um, barrister. Uh, he's my barrister as well. He's got all the records I've got, what, what I've given to him from what you see on Facebook. He's got it all, uh, apart from the latest bits. But he's got the original court hearing in the High Court of Admiralty in London against John Key. John Key, your name's in that court, and all we have to do is fire you into the district court here in Auckland. Everybody's watching, so there's no one going to get away from this method of calling to account anybody that's caused fraud. John Key, you're responsible, liable for all the fraud of your ministers and every other Crown agent in this country with private companies against the interests of the public of New Zealand and our chiefs on these lands. The chief went chief on these lands and myself, the sheriff. I'm talking for the king because no one else is able to do that without his seal of admiralty, court martial law, in the world. Okay, so that's all I want to say. I just wanted to ring uh, Sue Nakora, just to let you know that we're talking about uh, what we intend to do 
with her old confederation and her government, she has a, a, a legitimate government to take over this place. If not, I get the British military to come in and run this government off, out, off the land. Okay, John Key, you're out of here. That's what I'm saying now, the right way, three court. We'll prove who has the title. And you have to have something better than what I got on Facebook and YouTube and Google and Twitter. You'll have to come up with something better than what I have. Otherwise, if you don't answer, you had none. And everyone else in your government has none. No authority to rule this country. Okay? That's all I want to say in this video for now. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. And I appreciate all the support I'm getting from comments online, uh, on Facebook, and also on Twitter. Uh, a lot of people are responding, uh, and other people uh, knowing the truth of what we do is there. It's going to be there for a long time. It's not going anywhere. We don't change our stripes every five minutes. You won't see me changing anything. It stays the same. Right. Our image is Maui, the brand name is Maui, Crown, King William IV <coughs> Trust. Okay, that's the beneficiaries of everything we do. And our sworn allegiance and oath to King William IV and Maui Crown. Okay, that's all. Maui is God, the real God in the universe. And he's here to make certain that our authority comes straight from him. My word against yours. That's all it is. If you have got no answer to what I'm saying as my statement of claim online, then you had no claim. Okay? So that's all I want to say for now. We'll catch you later. And um, looking forward to seeing Sue in Gisborne on the 27th. I'm going to have a meeting with the Tumutumu Pairoa Trust and the landowners of the Hiringa A12 land block in Rotorua. Okay, thank you. Bye. John Wanoa, Auckland, New Zealand.